chat. Here we go. We're going to start with a pogo only 1v1. But <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I, I forgot that I was doing some testing stuff. <laughs> And I had bots turned on. Why did none of you guys catch that for me? All right, we try again. <laughs> Chat, here we go. We're starting a pogo only 1v1. We've got 20 minutes of pogos being attacked against each other. Dark, Razirs, and Jorias are playing in this King of the Hill. The way it's going to work for the YouTube people who have just joined, you can only defend the pogos from inside your net or right around your box, really, not all the way inside your net. And it's going to be first to seven. First to get seven goals will win the Pogo only 1v1. And when you get scored on, you get replaced by the person waiting in spectate. Razier's. I know we get past Dark to a couple solid Pogos. If we don't get a ton of goals and we instead hit the 20-minute mark, it'll be whoever is leading at that moment. So we get to see a ton of Dark Pogos today. Oh, is he going to go for a double Pogo? I think these guys are going to get a feel for it at the start. As we slowly see them work the pogos in. They might need to happen a little bit closer to the net than they normally do in 1v1s. Because right now they're having a, a tough time outplaying each other. Razier's is going to say sorry. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. Up to you guys. I'll let them decide whether or not those should count. Razier's doesn't seem to want to take it. Okay, yeah, no, no it is. Dark, Dark is the king of the pogo. And he's saying, nah, that doesn't count. So Dark, right back into it. Cannot flip after the floor. I mean, I'm interested to see what these guys want to do with it. Dark, delayed, musty. Okay, this one definitely counts as Razier's hops out of the game. Dark back will be into the reset. The pogo on the goal line and the late musty to push past the pre-jumping Razier's. So Dark, the early lead. I got to make sure I'm updating the scoreboard. Looks like they're going to let Jorias go first. Jorias. Multiple resets. The Pogo is just barely, but he actually almost got back to it to push it over top of Dark. Imagine it's just Dark getting seven straight. <laughs> Imagine we try to do this and really nobody can hang with the Pogo King Dark. Pogoing far away from the net. Late flip and 50. I wonder if these guys would want a 100 uh, infinite boost. Or they're cool with sticking with 100. Jory is. He's counteracting that pogo there. After hitting the pogo, his car naturally wanted to go one way, and he tried to fight through it to go for the other. We've seen both Jorias and Razirs hit pretty nice pogos in the past. Stark trying to pop that off his car. I think pogo shots, I, I would think, are legal, where they shoot immediately off of your bounce but these guys might decide otherwise this is a great setup from Joria's can't 50 it through though dark if you go Joria's throwing a sorry <laughs> maybe because he is not a big fan of his first couple of attempts at the pogo dark high bounce late flip went for multiple resets to finish it off. It almost seems like this waiting on the goal line makes it not too tough to defend for all these pogos set up so far away. Oh, he said sorry for stealing the midfield boost. I, I did not notice that. Dark going full field with this one. This is a great pogo setup. Look at the bounce. Reset into the ball actually insane what Dark can do with this. And the fact that it almost looked like it worked better for him starting all the way in his own back corner is just so impressive. Jorias <laughs> Jory is still trying to work it out. We've, we've seen him hit a really nice one. I know at the end of a show match that he won, 
He hit one so nice that I was like, dude, he's looking really solid. Backflip reset for Dark. Jory is saving it on the goal line. Are you asking if they want infinite boost? Uh, we could potentially have them play with infinite boost if they think it would make things better. Oh, see, that's a strong pogo from Joyce this time. Ask them. Uh, do you guys want infinite boost? I'll hit enter after the, the shot so I don't throw them off. Dark, multiple resets, delayed shot. Joyce still have the save. Let's see if they want infinite. Dark can decide. Brazier says no. All right, sounds good. I, I, I like the 100. Joris is fighting against his pogo. You guys notice what I'm seeing there? Not that I'm any pogo expert, but you can tell the pogo is trying to bounce him one way, and then he's fighting back, rotating through it the other way. Dark, double reset pogo. Everything has been just a bit too easy to save. Dark doesn't even play for Pocos. He's just, yeah, he just thinks it's a regular 1v1. Joria's the turtle setup. Could not finish off the Pogo. He is just frustrating and leaving his car. This gives you a good idea of where people are at in the Pogo world. I talked to a couple freestylers. Some freestylers are Pogoing off the reverse end of their car. Oh, is he going to try? Oh, he's going to roll into the 100 boost. Reset on the ball before the start of it. Still just uses the reset to get another one in the air. Oh, that would have been filthy. Joria is going ceiling reset on the pogo. This pogo is strong, but just not set up with the right angle. Pogo using the front of the car doesn't seem to be the easiest way to do it. Yeah, some of the freestylers do the tail end. And I think I was reading that someone else does the tail end of their shots as well. Are we finding out right now that the best way to defend Pogos is to camp in net and not come out to attack them? Because they're so hard to challenge high in the air when the reset is questionable of when it's going to be used. Right now, everybody's just chilling in net. And not having that tough of a time. Stop this one. This is a great setup from Dark. And it is going to be another goal. He's a bot. He's too good. Yeah, he's a bot designed to hit these pogo reset shots. Jory is reacting to it on the goal line. Going to give Dark another goal. Jory is hopping out of the match. Maybe he's going to go switch out of the octane. He did pogo in the Fennec the first time that I saw him do it. And for some reason, it's not showing me Razier's perspective. There we go. Razier's. That's a clean pogo. Has a lot of boost to work with as well. The Musty is too weak. There was space over the top. I think it's only way easier to sit in net because they aren't faking pogos with ground shots. I see Razier's coming to challenge this one early. Can you delete Joyce's goal? Oh, uh, I am just keeping track of it over here on the left. You'll see the first to seven. Right now it is dark two. And both Razier's and Joya's zero. Izabatos did one in Turf Wars with the back of his car. Oh yeah. Zabatos so definitely knows how to do both ways. Sears. Double reset. Didn't get enough pop on the pogo. One hour match. It is set to be 20 minutes. So, you know, we're hoping a first to seven. Seven may have been a bit, uh, you know, ambitious. But that's why we also have the timer to end it if it does hit 20. Early challenges allowed just after the bounce. Yeah, I, I think that's what we were hoping for. I we We're trying to find the correct rule set to result in basically what Dark does with his pogos where you could challenge him. Oh, that's a great shot from Razier's. That's a solid one. Let's make sure we give Razier's his due credit. Great bounce just outside 
the box and then air rolling around to get the angle. Razier's, whoops, accidentally gave Dark a ton of extra. Doris is in the Fennec now. He did look solid in the Fennec when he played this last time. Oh, the Pogo shot. It was a bit harder. Might have been able to score. Sears couldn't get down to get the Pogo in time for the double reset. See, these Pogos are tough. I think, if anything, what this is saying is that Dark is uh, still on his own level as far as Pogo goes. I know Chronic has a really good Pogo from North America, but even the occasional Pogos that we see from these people doesn't necessarily mean. Is this the first real Pogo 1v1 show match? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I don't know if there's, before Dark, enough people who could hang in a Pogo 1v1. Juicy and Joyo. Yeah, Juicy's looks pretty good. I, I looked to, to see if Juicy wanted to play. Juicy and Joyo both, or at least Juicy, I think, had some solid ones. This year's goal line 50. Joyo should be Dominus. Are the Pogos easier to hit in a flat car? Oh, that is <laughs> the Pogo bump. Yeah, I mean, Joyo did get a ton of pop, but... Joyo would be the best bet. Well, we saw Joyo, I mean, Juicy and Joyo's match that they had recently pretty much turned into a Pogo only. Oh, that's, I mean, <laughs> up to these guys, what they decide on this one. Basically a fake after the bounce. Joyo's is gonna hop out and give Raziers a second goal. I, I think that should count if you ask me. You know, I was actually gonna expect these guys to do even more type competitive, um, environment where like all fakes are allowed or maybe even you know a perfect world is where you can use that early reset when someone comes to try and challenge your pogo because dark i think is one of the only people who do that really effectively can we get a normal 1v1 after this one we'll see if uh if anybody wants to play a normal 1v1 as well but i wanted to get a match where we test these pogos where zero's trying to go full field didn't quite make it. Dark looked like the full field one was almost easier for him. Clean setup for Dark. Nice shot. Air rolling underneath the ball. We can look at it from Razier's perspective as well. Or it's not going to show us Razier's because he left the match. The king of Pogos continues to be so, so far. Just over halfway through the show match. This is the exact car that Jory has hit the pogo with. So he's got his Carmine Corp decal on. And he's ready for his double reset pogo. Get Magic Bear. Is Magic Bear really good at pogos as well? Dark backflip reset. Pogo shot on the goal line. Brought it too close to Jory is. Get a freestyler against Dark. Oh, that is a clean one. This Jory's gonna put himself on the board. Great 50. This is a nice shot from Joria's. High bounce. Dark trying to save it on the goal line. Can't stop the push through. So Joria's on the board. Joria's can't pogo at all. It wasn't so much a caster curse as it was a Chatter curse. <laughs> Razier's tried to turn it into a pogo still, even though he missed the reset. Is this just for bragging rights? Yeah, it's just it's just for bragging rights for fun. I asked Twitter who thought they could hang in a pogo 1v1. And these guys were both willing to see what they could do against Dark. Great bounce from his ears. Trying to dribble and use that flip as late as possible. If he can get it near net before flipping, there's a good chance that Jory is not going to be able to react. Wasn't able to do so. This is going to be a pogo shot. Yeah, I like it. 
Jory is, he is finding his form here a little bit in this Fennec. This time, instead of taking it off the bounce, he shoots it immediately and Raziers cannot react. So Raziers and Jory is now tied at two goals. Dark still in the lead. Is that considered a pogo though? Yeah, I think it's definitely considered a pogo. Dark. Right back on the map. Great bounce. Musty! Is it a hit? No! Just really good save. Dark throws the okay. Because he really wanted that one. Joy is high reset. Still kind of looks like he's almost fighting on his pogos. Not to let him through. But he is able to score this one. Another 50. This time, squeezing it down to the ground with Dark. Joy is all of a sudden. It seemed like we needed a little bit of warm up for these guys, but they are starting to score now. Joy is at three as well. By right, he's at three. Okay. Ears. Following the ball after the pogo. Cannot get the 50. Ceiling reset. Oh, that was going to be. Wait, he backflipped out of it. Oh, wait. That's not a pogo, is it? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it counts. <laughs> He's saying it doesn't count. He doesn't actually pogo. He just backflipped out of it and then goes up and bumps <laughs> the best goal yet though <laughs> uh, it'll just be Razier's turn <laughs> let me I think I missed some alerts let me scroll up Wizos by the way thank you for the 100 bits I think I missed that earlier and then Crispy Dad thank you for the prime Razier's can't find anything on that one and then Stim Sereno gifting a community sub Thank you. Jory is. Gets the pogo this time around, but floats too far in front of the ball. Sears. That was a great one. Such great control. He pogo's outside the box, which is where Jory has to defend from. And then he saves 60 boosts in the process, and he's able to use all of that to get around to one side of the ball to make sure that there's a ton of movement late in the shot. Is this a three-way tie? I believe we're a three-way tied now. Three all for Dark Joys and Raziers. Dark. The bounce and the immediate goal. Able to get his defender to miss. Looking to try and attack high on the dribble. Cannot stop him, so Dark back in the lead. The first ever Pogo Championship is also an instant classic. Yeah, these guys are definitely in the zone now. Jory is weak Pogo, but look at this late flip. He doesn't get a ton of bounce on the Pogo. But he uses his boost to get around the ball and then goes for a pre-foot flick underneath it to put it behind Dark. That's actually filthy. To put himself back tied with Razier's 4-4. And Razier's with three. It is first to seven here. And at first it didn't seem like we were gonna be getting to seven. We're gonna have the time limit finish it off. But right now, the way these guys are scoring, we might see somebody get to seven. Razier's doing the same kind of thing to Joria's. The prefit flick, he's going to throw the nice one. Joria is able to stop him. Joria is on a roll right now, and as I say that, I fully jinx him. Sears falling from the ceiling. He's going to try and make something out of the pogo. <laughs> you know, technically allowed but certainly frowned upon. Jory's gonna save it to save us the heartache for deciding whether or not it counts. Jory is low pogo, far away from the net. Try to musty to make it work. This 
Seer is just going to need to use a lot of boost just to set this one up. But he still has 50 left after the pogo. Looking for the top right. And he just didn't get quite the movement he needed. That top right was open. But a bit of a weak finish. Joria is so far away from the net. Not going to be troublesome for Vizios to stop him. Also... Used up so much boost before the bounce. See, Razier's is going to have 78 to work with after the bounce, and it's going to be too much. It is a four or three way tie. Four, four, four for every one of these guys. And this one is just pure. When you save so much boost like that to work with after the bounce, it makes it nearly impossible. What is the order? There's just three of them, so if you get scored on, you get taken off the map. Dark. He seems like he's threatening something every time. He keeps scoring on his first attempts. Seems like when Razier's and Joria's are going, they go back and forth for a bit. But whenever Dark's there, you gotta score on him first or stop his first shot because he is always attacking. So that is Dark 5 now. Dark 5, Joria's back on the field to try and score against Dark. 64 boost to work with. Dark attacks him immediately after he bounces. Totally legal. And I think as people do that more, it might even lean to an advantage towards Dark. Because he does such a good job of stopping people. Did that go in? Oh my goodness, we were robbed. It is not going to bounce in. That was a great shot. Definitely shot of the match had it gone in from Dark. Because he avoided that early challenge as well. Joria's lost the pogo. Four minutes. Four minutes. Dark has the lead right now. Could try and extend it even more. Dark double reset. And then the low pogo shot. Joria's was prepping as if it was going to pop off the bounce up into the air. But instead, Dark immediately shoots it low. Is able to squeeze it underneath him. So that is Dark at six. Dark at six. One away from winning and being the first to seven. Do we want to see that replay? We could go through the replay of the various shots. Vizier is forced to try and bump to finish this one off. Dark just adding double resets as part of the setup when he doesn't need to. Late, Musty, is it in? No, it's wide. He used the flick after his ears had jumped to make sure he would sneak it around him, but couldn't quite get it in. His ears, very stagnant setup, but the end result is what he needs. He goes low, Dark's able to cover it. Dark gonna set up another midfield. He is able to set full field ones when he wants to. Double reset. This could be for the win. Triple reset. Is he going to pogo at the end? He will. He pogos in 50s. It's a GG's from both these guys. And it's actually a great shot because you can only defend after the pogo in this setup. So Vizier's has to wait until it comes to the ground and Dark pogos it with the rear end of his car for the seventh goal and the win. GG's from these guys. Thank you to Dark and Joria's and Vizier's for playing it out.